Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript Coding Challenge. In today's video, you have to find the below code output and you have four options to select from. The question is, you have a variable x which is being initialized with a test and there is another variable y which is a function func and inside that you are printing console.log of func and there is an if loop, within the if loop you are passing y and inside that if loop you are trying to uh, concatenate and assign to x the type of y and finally you are trying to print x and the options are a func and test undefined and b func and test function c test function and d just a test so please try from your end and see what is the output you are getting so let's try from our end and see what is the output we are getting, okay? So we have this particular script available in the test.js file and let me run this uh, and this particular script I'm calling from the index.html. So let me run this index.html, okay? And make sure that everything is running fine. And let me open the sources and debug and see what is the output we are getting, okay? So let me go to sources and put a breakpoint at the start of the question, okay? and let me refresh it okay so now let me uh, so here actually you can see that we have a var x equal to test and if you go to the global scope uh, by now itself the code execution the uh, memory creation phase is completed and you can see here okay in the scope you can see x and y has been initialized with undefined okay that is part of the hoisting uh, feature that's available in javascript uh, there is a memory creation phase and x and y has been hoisted and x is hoisted as uh, it's initialized as undefined and y is also uh, initialized as undefined okay now as soon as we ex uh, uh, execute this particular line where x equal to test then in the global scope you can see that x has been updated uh, to test okay the value has been updated from undefined to test and y is still undefined so now what will happen if uh, y is in uh, initialized with a function func and then you can see that if I complete this particular line then you can see that in the global scope y also is as updated from undefined to a function value okay so now if I see go to y okay you can see y is a function okay it's a function of func and the name uh, the function name is func okay it's a named function so the so that's what x is test and y is uh, uh, a function okay of func name func and now what will happen if it is if of y okay so you can see here if i scroll uh, the mouse over y you can see that y is not null okay so then what will happen if it is passed under an if so will it get inside the if loop yes so now if i press f10 okay you can see here because it returns true because it's not null okay it's not null or it's not falsy so whatever if y is a function then it is means that it is it returns true and if y then it will go to the if loop and what will happen for the type of y okay so you can see here in the console uh, if type of y okay type of y uh, if i am actually calling y okay in if i am invoking y okay then you can see here the func is uh, returned and it's returning undefined the type of y function invoked okay it is undefined and the function whatever is there in that uh, particular function right there is a console.log of func so that also gets printed and the type of returns as undefined but here we are not invoking y okay we are not invoking y we are just uh, calling that particular uh, variable right so in this case the type of y will be a function we know that it's a function name with a name uh, func and here it's the type of func y is actually function so now if i actually go so and what happened this particular uh, function is not invoked and hence this console.log of uh, func is not uh, uh, printed okay that is not getting printed because we are not invoking y we are just calling the variable y and we are not uh, calling invoking the function okay if you want to invoke the function then we have to put the parenthesis after y okay so in this case we are not invoking the function just we are actually uh, printing the type of uh, we are trying to concatenate the type of y so now after this particular line you can see that what happens to x so x has been concatenated with the type of y which is a function and hence the x becomes test function and this particular line has not been printed because 
uh, we are not actually uh, invoking the function and hence console.log of fung is not getting printed and if I print now if I print x then what will happen you can see here it is test function so let me remove the breakpoint and show you the final output okay the final output will be test function okay so you can see here test function and hence the option C is the right answer so just a recap of what happened to this particular uh, uh, code so where X and Y where Y so uh, during the hoisting phase or the uh, memory creation phase X is initialized with undefined and Y is also undefined as soon as this particular line is executed X becomes test and Y will actually become a function with a name func okay and if y so it will be uh, going inside the if loop because it is have it is not a null okay it's a function so the uh, if of function value that is a function okay so and hence it returns true and hence it goes inside uh, this particular if loop and x we will be concatenated with the type of y so in this case we are not invoking y okay if we are invoking y the type of will become undefined but we are just calling y okay so here the type of will become a function because it's a type is function and hex will be concatenated with function and hence it becomes test function and we are finally printing console.log of test function and this particular line is not ex uh, printed because uh, we are not invoking the y invoking y or invoking the function and hence this uh, function will never be executed and hence this particular line will never be printed and the final answer will be test function so I hope you got an idea about this particular challenge. So stay tuned for further videos. Thanks a lot for watching.